Hello, good evening. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? I'm great. How are you, Jesus? How are you? Very good. Tired, but uh, I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine, right? A lot of work yeah. today. Yeah, it's um in the office. There's a lot of details there, and come to my home, but it's relaxed because it's in the close to the river. I have a um a pond to, oh. mm -hmm. and I have a fish. It's in the fish and the and and the water. It's pretty good. Wow! And, and how is uh, what's what's the weather like? It's kind of fresh, cold. No, it's um normally. Okay, all right, yeah. but that's good. So you can listen to the river. Really close. Uh, really? Almost, uh, yeah, really close. So you can and, go and swim in the river every day. Yeah, uh, sometimes I have an uh, other river to go on the to the farm to my father. It's a big river. It's a lot of the uh, um, water fountains and and big pool. Oh my gosh! Nice. Yeah. So you are so, surrounded by nature. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Right now the idea is um, a school for the for the people see uh, watches the 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 process to work and the. Uh, organic work and the planters and everything. That's okay. the idea. Sounds like a good plan. Very good. Yeah. All right, good luck for everything. Sounds good. Thank All right, you. let's see. Welcome everybody. I'm happy to see you. How are you today? Uh-huh. Let's see, I can see Anna. Hello, Anna, how Good are evening, you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, thank you. Very good, very good. Who else? Who else is there? I want to see you, everyone. I can see only Anna and, and Joannis and the rest of you. I want to see you. All right. Oh, and I can see Elizabeth too. Okay, very good. So everyone, welcome to the class. I'm happy to see you. It's Tuesday. So we are studying the unit number three. Okay, so do you remember the topic that we studied yesterday? Uh -huh. What was the topic? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Selvis. How are you? Okay, do you remember the topic from yesterday? Uh huh. Anyone? Hmm. <laughs> Nobody remembers the topic. Oh my gosh. Uh huh. No. Extra points double for the H1. ones who remember. Ah, thank you, Anna. Double H word. <laughs> Correct. So, what were? Uh, do you remember the double H word? For example, what? What else? Another double H word. Where? Uh huh. When? Why? Why? Good. Exactly. Those were double H words. So we study the double H words and questions. ¿Cómo se llamaban las questions that we studied yesterday? Information question. That's the one. Very good job. So today we are going to practice a little bit that topic again. Okay, so if you didn't understand the topic or if you have questions, today we are going to review it 
and we are going to practice a lot, okay? So welcome everybody, I'm really happy to see you here. I'm going to share the presentation. Okay, can you see the presentation? Yes. Great, okay, so today is December 6th, okay? And um, be careful with the microphones. So, the topic that we are going to study today is how to use simple present with the information questions, okay? And what is the objective? The objective is that participants will be able to ask questions, okay, information questions, about someone else's duties at the workplace. So the idea is that you ask question to your classmates. That's the idea, okay? So let's review a little bit the questions that we have been studying. Did you practice these questions? Las practicaron? Did you practice? Yes? No? A little bit. No. No? Ah. Okay. Well, I told you that you have to practice the question. So I'm going to interview you. Let's see. Let's start. Ta -ta 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 well, alphabetical. Anna. <laughs> okay. Anna, what do you do in the morning? Uh, I wake up. Early. Okay. What else? Okay. What else? Come on. What else? Uh huh. Uh, I take a shower. Um. I have. Breakfast, 8 a.m. Yes, okay, <laughs> yeah. thank you, Anna. Very good, very good. Okay, next one, let's see. Mm, Xiomara, hello, Xiomara. Xiomara. Good night, teacher. Hello. Ah, okay, okay, no worries, no worries. Le voy a preguntar a alguien más, no worries. Okay, um, okay, so Veronica. Hello, Veronica. Hello, teacher. Okay, Veronica, what's your occupation? I, I am a secretary. Secretary? Secretary. Ah, very good. That's the one. Thank you, Veronica. Okay, you. let's see, let's see. Mm. Wilson. Hello, Wilson. Hello, teacher. Spell your last name. Uh, my last name is uh, Ortega. Or O R T E G A. Hmm. Okay, le voy a mostrar cómo me lo deletrió. Look. Is that correct? This is correct. Yes. Yes. Good. Very good. Okay. Next one, ta -ta 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 -ta. I'm going to ask to Lily. Hello, Lily. What do you do in your job? What do you do in your job? ¿Qué hago en el trabajo? No. Exactly, yes. Um, I organize document. Okay. 
I said email. All right, very good, very good. Mm -hmm. Thank you, excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay, next question. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Rigoberto, hello Rigoberto. Hi teacher, good evening. Good evening, tell me, what activities don't you do in your job? I don't drive, I don't drive a truck in my job. Mm -hmm. I don't make photocopies. And I don't uh, wash the the cars good. in my job. All right, very good. Thank you, Rigoberto. And the last question, it will be for Jesus Joannis. Okay, Jesus, what does your mother do in the afternoon? Um, she does cook and uh, she does cook and um, cook, what is the cook? Uh, Pupusas, oh. and she does um, nice juice, orange juice, uh, really nice. <laughs> All right. Anything else? That's it. Okay, very good. Just be careful. Remember, in this case, she does cook pupusas. Do I need the auxiliary if I have affirmative sentences? No. Not really. So in this case, instead of saying she does cook, we can just say she cooks. The letter S. Exactly. <laughs> she cooks. But it's not necessary does because it's affirmative. Okay? So just she cooks pupusas. Very good. Okay, if you see everyone, you already answer these questions. The idea is that everybody answer all the questions. So practice, okay? Practice vocabulary. A veces nos cuesta responder estas preguntas porque no hemos practicado el vocabulary. Yo sé que muchos de ustedes me entienden la pregunta. Saben qué es lo que les estoy preguntando. Pero se nos olvida el vocabulary. Y si no sabemos el vocabulary, no vamos a poder responder. ¿Ok? So please practice the vocabulary. I will continue asking the questions. ¿Ok? Now, let's continue. Yesterday we studied information questions what is the characteristic of the information questions do you remember que se da la respuesta completa good exactly no podemos responder con un yes o con un no tenemos que responder con una complete answer tenemos que dar Information, correct. Otra característica de las information questions. El, el, el H word, no sé cómo es que era la palabra. Good. The double, double H, H double word. word. Correct. Double H word. Double H. Double H. Double H words. So, if you remember, we studied some of the double H words. For example, the first one, who. Who is for places? Yes or no? No, it's a people. No. Ah, uh, is for? People. Very good. For example, who is your teacher? Who is your father? Okay, how about what? 
Can you tell me? What time is it? The thing and ah, the action. Good job. Things and actions. Also, as your classmate said, podemos decir what time is it? What time? Yes. Very good. How about when? When is uh, the, Cuando. the time? Good. Is the time, for example? Um, when is your birthday? Correct. When is your birthday? Good. When is the exam? Okay, so when perfect. When is your vacation? When is your vacation? Very good. Hoy Douglas viene con power. I like it. Very good. Okay. Te cayeron next. bien las clases que te di, Douglas. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. uh, the next one. Where? What is the meaning of where? The places. Is, sorry? Places. Correct. Is when we want to know about places. Can you give me examples? Where you do live? Where do you live? live. live. Where do you Leave. That is the pronunciation. Leave. Where do you live? Leave. Okay. Where do you study? Where do you study? Very Where good. Where do you Your country? Where do you country? Where, Where do, do you, you country? Mm. No. Where do you? Where, you you Where, Where are you are from? You from? Where do you work? Good job, very good. Okay, así me gusta. Oh, ya todos están con power. I like it. Yo creo que mejor ya no deberíamos hacer examen, right? Ya, ya todo. <laughs> ya vamos. Yeah, right? <laughs> okay. Now, what is the meaning of why? Okay. I'm sorry? ¿Por qué? Okay, so this is when we want to know reasons. Explain. Queremos explanations, exactly. We want to explain. Can you give me examples? Why are you happy? Why are you happy? Very good. What else? Why are you sad? Why are you sad? Correct. What else? ¿Cómo pregunto, ¿Cómo pregunto por qué estudias inglés? ¿Cómo pregunto eso? Why are you studying you? English? Why do you study English? Ok, podemos usar el auxiliary. Why do you study English? Very good. Ok, the last one. How? What is the meaning of how? How um, old are you? Uh -huh. Procedimiento. Procedimiento. Exactly. Procedures. Procedimiento. We want to know the way that we can do something. And a common question with how is, how are you? How old are you? How do you prepare a Martian soup? How do you prepare pupusas? Okay, so we can ask using how. Preguntas, everybody, con el significado de las double H words? Any other questions? No. no, is it clear? Okay, if you don't have questions, we are going to do a practice but first, we are going to check attendance, okay? So you know what to do. If you listen to your names, just say present. Okay, let's see, Ana Carmina. Present teacher. Okay, Douglas Arnoldo. Present teacher. All right. Guillermo Alex. Present. Good. Harvin Vladimir. Present. All right. 
Jesús Ernesto Alarcón. He's not here. Okay. Jesús Joanis. Present. All right. Jesús Alberto Domínguez. Okay. Um, Rigoberto Padilla. Present teacher. Good. Rogelio Enrique. Is working hard. Oh, okay. Um, Selvis, well, Selvis said that he has some issues, right? With the connection. Okay, Sonia Elizabeth. Present teacher. Good. Sonia Veronica. Present teacher. Okay. Wilson Ortega. Present teacher. Good. Xiomara Elizabeth. Present teacher. Good. And Yesenia Lili. Present teacher. Very good. Okay, everyone, let's continue practicing the information questions. What is the difference between the yes no questions and the information questions? What is the difference? Uh -huh. The answer is large. Good. Information questions, the answer is large. Tenemos que dar details. ¿Qué más? Another difference? Uh -huh. The W -H works. All right, totally. Auxiliary. So this is something that we studied yesterday. Remember everybody, in the yes no questions, comenzamos con el auxiliary, do. right? Puede ser do o puede ser does. And here we got an example. We can say, for example, um, do you go to the beach? And the information questions, ¿con qué, con qué comenzamos? W word. Exactly. With the double H word. For example, when do you go to the beach? Okay. Este es el orden que tenemos que seguir. Okay. So... Let's do a practice. I'm going to share some sentences. Please put the words in the correct order and create the questions, okay? So remember, fíjense bien si es una yes no question or if it is an information question. For example, in this case, identifican una double H word? Yes or no? Yes. yes. So, what do you think? Is a yes no question what? or information what? question? Information. Information question. Así que, ¿qué necesito primero? What? Okay, and then? Your. Do. 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 I need the auxiliary. Okay. What do you do? What do you what do you do? What do you do? Do you do? Be careful with the microphones, everybody. You. You. Okay. What do you do? In. In. You. Okay, um, microphones, be careful. Okay, look at the question. What do you do in your free time? What would be the answer? ¿Cómo respondemos a esta question? What do you do in your free time? What do you think? ¿Qué significa, teacher? ¿Qué significa? Look at this. Free time. Tiempo libre. Tiempo libre. Tiempo libre. Exactly. So, ¿qué hacen ustedes en su tiempo libre? Hablemos como por el fin de semana, right? Cuando están descansando, cuando no tienen que trabajar. So, free time. A ver, ¿qué I hacen? I go to the beach. 
I was TV. I go to the bar. I I play soccer. Okay, I watch TV. I go to the park. All right. Fíjense bien I en la pregunta porque después se las puedo preguntar. All right, I visit. Uh -huh. My family. Very good. I visit my family. So imagine si yo les pregunto, what do you do in your free time? Estas son las oraciones que me pueden decir. Ah, I go to the beach. I watch TV. I go to the park. I visit my family. Understood? Yes? No. Why not? <laughs> no, play soccer. I go to the play ah, soccer. Ah, okay. So you can say, I play, I play soccer. soccer. Very good. Imagine if I if I want to say, I yo duermo. How can I say that? I huh? sleep. Correct. I sleep. I swim. I swim. Mm -hmm. y, y nadie study English in the free time. No. Uh, no. Ah, ya les voy a dejar más tareas. I study English. In, the, in this moment, yes. In the, in the free time, no. Weekends, never. Time, no, no English. Ajá, ya les voy a dejar más tarea, ¿verdad? Hmm. Okay, so what do you do in your free time? Very good job. Okay, look at the next question. Uh, hi, everybody. What is the correct order? What is your what name? What is your name? Easy. What is your name? Pay attention to this question. Tengo auxiliary in esta question? No. ¿Por no. qué no? No. BRB. Porque está en tercera persona. ¿Está en tercera persona? No. Uh, no, singular. no. Es porque tengo el verbo to, to be. Exactly. Remember, when you have the verb to be, you don't need auxiliary. Okay? Next one. What is the question? No. Do you like chocolate? Do you like chocolate? Okay, information question or just no question? Yes, no yes. question. Yes, no question. What do I need first? Colleague, do you like? Chocolate? Do, uh -huh. do you like? Do you like? Do you like? Chocolate. chocolate. Okay, and chocolate. everybody, do you like chocolate? Yes, I do. <laughs> okay. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Very good. Uh huh. What is the question here? What do? What? What do you? Okay. What do you have? Have or breakfast? Breakfast. <laughs> All right. What do you have for breakfast? Okay, how can we answer this question? What do you have for breakfast? At uh, huh? 7.30. Mm, okay, pero ¿qué estoy preguntando aquí? Look. Mm. What? ¿Cómo podríamos responder? I have orange juice. Okay, okay, I okay. have orange uh, juice. I have pupusas. Uh, what else? I have beans. Uh, I have beans. I have cereal. Cereal. Um, what else? I have milk and bread. Okay. How about coffee? Do you have a coffee for breakfast? Yes. Ah, yes. very good. So, what do you have for breakfast? Pay attention in the questions, please. Okay, the next one. Be careful with the microphones, please. Uh huh. What do you you have for lunch? Okay. What do you have for lunch? 
What is the answer? What do you have for lunch? Chicken. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, I, I like the accent. I have rellenos de papa. <laughs> How do okay. you say rellenos? You can say you can say field potato. I'm sorry, Douglas. No, I have grilled chicken. Okay, grilled chicken. Look. I have fish. Fish. Okay. Look, si quieren decir, hay algunos términos, right? Más adelante vamos a ver específicamente ese topic de food. But, for example, si yo quiero hablar de rellenos, um, everybody, microphones, please. Estoy escuchando mucho background, please. Podemos decir field, como relleno. Entonces podemos decir, um, si es de papas, potato field, right? Básicamente lo que estamos diciendo es que la papa va rellena. Okay. Fry potato. Or fry potato, soup. All right, very good. Okay, next one. What is the question? Do you like broccoli? Do you like broccoli? And what is the answer? Do you like broccoli? Uh, yes, yes, I do. I do. <laughs> All right. Next question. No, I am no. Yeah. You done? <laughs> no, que no me gusta. <laughs> really? Ah, okay. Right, so, uh, what is the question here? ¿Qué necesito primero? What? Uh, mm -hmm. Do you? Do you? What? Do you? Uh -uh. Do you do? Antes del do necesito do algo. Look. Do you? What time? Ah, what time? Do you, do you, do you go to school? To school? All right. What time do you go to school? So imagine que en lugar de school diga work. Work. So what time do you go to work? What will be the answer? I. I go work, to work. 7 a.m. Uh -huh. Okay. I work. Uh, I'm sorry. I go to work at 7 a.m. 7.50. Okay. 50-50. <laughs> All right. 50-50. Uh -huh. What else? Más adelante, bueno, esta semana creo que vamos a empezar a ver cómo decir la hora. Así que, don't worry, ya vamos a ver eso. So, si yo les pregunto, what time do you go to work? Así es como respondemos. I go to work at, y luego me dicen la hora. Antes de decir la hora, siempre vamos a usar at. Always, ¿ok? Next question. What is the correct order? Who is your father? Who is your father? And what is the answer? Imagine si yo les pregunto who is your father, ¿cómo me respondería? Ajá. Uh -huh. My father is Pablo. Very good. My father is Pablo. Pablo. Exactly. Aquí estoy preguntando who, right? ¿Quién? Who is your father? Very good. Okay, everybody. I'm going to ask individually. So only the person that I ask answers. Um, let's see. Eh, Veronica. Okay, Veronica. Look at the next question. Where is the correct order? Where are you from? Very good. Where are you from? Okay, Veronica, what is the answer? Where are you from? I'm from El Salvador. Great Hola. job. Yes, good job. Okay, next one, Xiomara. What is the question? 
Where, where do you like? All right. Be careful with the pronunciation. What is the pronunciation of this word? Live. 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 Where do you live. live? Okay, Xiomara, what is the answer? Where do you live? Um, sería... Me hace la pregunta de dónde vivo yo. Exactly. Uh, um, I live uh, Tamanique. Very good. I live in, and you say the name of the city. I live in Tamanique. I live in Santa Ana. I live in. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, very good. Le van a pegar, hombre, le van a pegar. <laughs> Be careful. Okay, the next one. Tan, 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 tan. The next question. Guillermo, what is the question here? Uh, what do you pencil in your case? What do you have? Pencil in your case. Hmm. What do you have? I case. will help. ¿Qué significa case? Case. It's basically an object donde guardamos el qué. Este, estuche. Exactly. Ese es el meaning. So, lo vamos a decir. What do you have in... Your so, pencil case. Pencil case. Very good. So, estamos hablando del estuche, okay? So, what is the answer, Guillermo? What do you have in your pencil case? Uh -huh. ¿Qué guardamos normalmente aquí? In the pencil case. Uh -huh. um, Pencil, um, exactly. So, podemos decir, ah, I have a, a pencil, a scissor, oh, what else? Eraser, pen. ¿Cómo se dice borrador, teacher? Eraser. So, I have eraser, pencils. Scissors, ruler. ruler, exactly, very good. All right, the next one, Douglas, what is the question? Do you like school? <laughs> okay, do you like school? Okay, imagine que en lugar de school, diga work. Work. So, Douglas, do you like work? Yes, I do. Very good job. Excellent. Okay, and the last one. The last one. Everybody, what is the answer? What do I, I need first? Uh -huh. Do you, how do you come? How do you school. come to the school? school? Okay, very good. So in this question, um, how do you come to school? Oops, ¿qué se hizo? Okay, how do you come to school? ¿Qué estoy preguntando aquí? What do you think? Exactly. For example, si se van caminando, o si se van en bus, o en carro, right? So, exactly, yes. By bus, by car. So, everybody, how do you come to work? 
Uh -huh. Everybody, how do you come to work? Teacher, tengo una pregunta. Yes. Y eso no es, por ejemplo, eh, la dirección o cómo llegar al lugar. So, en el medio. What happens, guys, is like, uh, but antes de explicar, pueden apagar el micrófono, everybody, porque estoy escuchando muchos micrófonos abiertos. I'm sorry. Okay, look, cuando nosotros preguntamos, how do you come to work? Usamos la palabra come. Este come me está indicando cómo llegaste al lugar, pero nos referimos con el medio de transporte que ustedes usaron. All right? Si queremos preguntar cómo llegar a un lugar, es decir, cuando quiero saber la dirección, en lugar de come usamos la palabra get. How do you get to school? Esa es la diferencia, ¿ok? Cuando usamos com, estoy diciendo cómo veniste, qué utilizaste, qué medio de transporte. Pero si yo quiero saber cómo llegar a un lugar, es decir, la dirección, en lugar de com, usamos get. Esa es la diferencia. ¿Understood? ¿Es clear? Yes. Ok, very good. So, everybody, si se fijan, ese es el orden que tenemos que seguir. Solo fíjense, double H word, auxiliary, subject, their complement. Si ustedes siguen el orden, se les va a hacer fácil formular las preguntas. Easy or difficult? Ajá. Uh -huh. Or 50-50. 50-50 for hour. Okay, 50-50. Well, let's continue practicing. La idea es aprendernos este procedimiento, everybody. So if you have questions, if you feel that it's difficult, tell me. La idea es que lo aprendamos, okay? Now, I'm going to share another practice. Pay a lot of attention here. Vamos a ver si ya se aprendieron el significado de las double H words. I'm going to share some sentences and you have to choose the correct word. Okay? So, for example, in the number one. Oops. What is your name? Ah, very good. What is the correct double H word? What? 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 What is your name? Y decimos, ah, my name is Paul. Oh. All right. What is the next one? Where do you live? Correct. Where? Aquí estoy preguntando por un place. Where do you live? Next. How What are you doing? Are you doing? What are you doing? ¿Qué estoy preguntando ahí? Estás haciendo. ¿Qué estás haciendo? Right? What are you doing? Okay, next one. What is your book? What is your book? Mm. Look at the answer. En la respuesta dice, it's in my school bag. Where? Is it? Where? Are you sure? Where is your book? Ok, listen, pay attention everybody, micrófonos, please. What is your book? Ok, pay attention here. Imagínense que este es el examen, right? Y les aparecen opciones y cómo saber cuál es la correcta. Probemos con todas. Who, ya sabemos qué significa who. ¿Tiene sentido si yo digo, hey, who is your book? ¿Puedo usar who si estoy hablando de un book? No. No, no, porque who is only for people, right? People. Así que who mm -mm, is But not possible. Ok, ¿puedo usar When? what? Yeah. No. Si estoy hablando de book, tiene sentido, pero miren la respuesta. La respuesta dice, está en mi mochila. Where, ¿Tendría sentido? Where? 
Ah, no. entonces, where, do you move? where, ¿dónde está tu libro? Ah, mm -hmm. is in my school, school bag. bag. So if you see, vayan probando con cada una y vayan escuchando y viendo la logic. All right? Next. Look at the question. Is this? Y la respuesta what? es, it's an apple. Uh -huh. what, what is this? Is this? What is this? Ah, it's an apple. Great job. Next. Look where at the answer. Ah, where are you? Y la respuesta, I am oh, oh. at home. Imagínense si yo les pregunto a ustedes, everybody, where are you? I am home. I am at, at home. home. Very good job. Uh -huh. Next one. Uh, who is what? your best friend? Ah, sí. Okay, who or what? Yeah. Who? 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 That's the one. Who is your mm. best friend? Ah, my best my friend best is friend. Mike. Mike. Okay, next one. Your father. <sighs> what who do you is think? Your father? Who, Who is, is your, your father? father? Correct. Very good. And next one. Is your what? mother's name? What is your mother's name? What is what? your mother's name? Very good. Okay, the last one. What time is it? What time is it? Ah, it's 10 o'clock. Very good. So, ¿Cómo saber qué double H word usar? So basically, we need to memorize it. ¿Ok? Una vez que se memorizan, va a ser más fácil utilizarla. ¿Ok? ¿Preguntas? Do you have any questions so far? Any question? Or ready for the exam? Hmm. <laughs> okay, if you don't have questions, I do. Okay, como ustedes no preguntan, ahora yo les voy a preguntar. Okay, I have here some questions. Quiero que practiquemos estas questions. Okay, first one, volunteer for reading the number one. Where do you live? Where do you live? Easy. Next one, number two. Volunteer. What do you what do, you do, do at, at your, your job? Very good. What do you do at your job? ¿No les aparece lo que les estoy compartiendo, everybody? A mí no. Okay, okay let's do something. I'm going to share the uh, picture again, but se las voy a mandar al grupo de WhatsApp. Okay, so you can see it on WhatsApp's group too. Okay, number two, what do you do at your job? Yeah. Perfect. ¿Todos sabemos responder la número dos? Yes. Remember, activities. Quiero que me digan por lo menos tres activities que ustedes hagan en su job. Okay. Number three, volunteer for reading. Who is your best friend? Very best good. Friend. Best friend. Okay, ¿cómo respondemos a la number three? Uh -huh. Podríamos decir, ah, my best friend is, y ahí me dicen el name. Ah, my best friend is... Julie, ah, my best friend is Michael, or I don't know, you say the name. Number four, why do you study English? Aquí la respuesta la quiero in English. A ver. I, I do like it. 
Ok, I like it. Pero antes del I like it, tenemos que agregar una palabra. ¿Se acuerdan? Because. Very good. So, ¿por qué estudia en inglés? Why do you study English? Ah, because I like it. O pueden decir otras razones. Ah, because... Eh, ajá, a ver, ¿por qué estudia en inglés? Because... New experience. It's a new experience. Ajá. I want to talk to, uh -huh. I want to talk to tourists. Quiero hablar con turistas, right? I want to talk to other people. I want to travel to another country. No sé, ahí me dicen el por qué, all right? And in the last question, when is your birthday? ¿Cómo respondemos a esta question? Look. Vamos a decir, my birthday is on. Y después de decir on, we need to say the month y luego el day. For example, my birthday is on. Imagínense que cumplen en diciembre, decimos. December. Eh, exactly. December. El 21. Cuarto. Ok, good. Así se dice la fecha de cumpleaños. All right. ¿Alguien más? A ver, sus fechas de cumpleaños. My birthday is on. Ajá. March. March. Ok, pueden decir solo. O solo five. Yes, el zero okay. is not necessary. March. What else? Another my, one? My birthday is on, on July 27. Uh -huh. Very good. So pay attention here, everybody. Tienen que decir las dos prepositions. My birthday. Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. Aquí no es in. Tiene que decir is. Let me fix it. Where is it? Sorry, my bad. Is like this. Okay. My birthday is on. That is the correct one, okay? Sorry, hay un, un error de dedo. Okay, ¿se entiende cómo responder a esa question? Yes? Preguntas? Any questions so far? Okay, if you don't have questions, let's do a practice. In this moment, I want you to interview your classmates and answer the questions. Ok, se las voy a volver a mandar por el error que había. So, everybody has to answer. So, for example, viene uno y hace la primera pregunta. Um, where do you live? Y su classmate responde, ah, I live in Santa Ana. So, luego su classmate le hace la pregunta a usted y usted responde. ¿Se entiende la activity? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Good. Okay. In this moment, um, you will be working in pairs. So zero Spanish. Okay. Everything full English. So everybody, let's go to practice. <laughs> Hi. Hello, Guillermo, are you there? Hello. Nadie me salió. Hi, Guillermo. Okay, Xiomara is here. 
okay. Yes, Yamara is here. <laughs> bueno, vamos a intentarlo. Okay. Um, where do you live? I, I live La Libertad. Yes. Uh, what do you do at your hut? Oh. Hot. <clears throat> job. Okay, pronunciation. Job. Job. Mm -hmm, I, that's I, correct. I, job. Job. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Entiendo que pregunta, licenciada, ¿qué hago en mi trabajo? That's correct. Exactly. I send email. I help co work, co worker. Mm -hmm. I I count money. Okay. Um, who is your best friend? My my best, best friend. My best friend is Jesus Christ. No, maybe. And good, good do you study English? Pronunciation is why. why. Repeat, Yamara. Why? Uh, why? Mm -hmm. I see, perdón. Why do you study English? Because I like. Okay. Uh, Okay. Um I I am I I stu I study English for like I study English for war work. Se me olvida la otra palabra hablar. Okay. Yo quiero hablar. Porque me gusta. Okay. okay. Like it. Uh, like Number five. Uh, number uh, uh, when is your when is your birthday? Um, March March five. Okay. Uh, 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 when is your my, birthday? My... My birthday is on December uh, 23. Oh, December. Wow. Double w celebration, double celebration. Yeah. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Yeah. Uh -huh. Are you finished? No. Uh -huh. What is the question? ¿O ya las respondieron todas? Do you answer all the questions? Yes. Yes? Okay. Very good. Okay, Harvin, when is your birthday? My birthday is on July 31 or okay. 31st. 31 31st. 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 Yes. Okay. Douglas, when is your birthday? My birthday is on July 27th. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. It was easy or difficult? The practice. Pero no he respondido a las otras. 50-50. Okay, we don't have more time. Tenemos que regresar al salón principal, okay? Let's go back. All right, time's up. Let's wait for the rest of your classmates. Full English, right? No Spanish. Okay, let's see. Let's wait for your classmates. 
puro Spanglish. <laughs> okay, but that's better than Spanish. <laughs> okay, everybody, how was the practice? Was it easy or difficult? So so. <laughs> okay, and the rest of you, everyone, easy or difficult? I think that. Okay. Did your classmate answer the questions? Yes. Okay, very good. Did you understand the answers? Yes. Okay, all the questions, everyone? Mm -hmm. Something really good is that now los escucho un poquito más confident, un poquito más seguros a la hora de responder. And that is something good. Están ganando confianza. So I like that. Um, now, if you see in this case, solo tengamos cuidado con la pronunciation of this word. Okay? What is the pronunciation? Birthday. Exactly. Birth. Es como que si fuese una E. Birthday. A veces escucho que dicen beer day, pero si decimos beer, estamos diciendo otra palabra, right? So tenemos que decir birthday. So everybody repeat. Birthday. 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 Exactly. So remember, aquí tenemos una Birthday. TH. So tenemos que colocar la lengua en medio de los dientes. Birth. Birthday. Okay. Birthday. 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 All right. Let me interview some of you. Let's see. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Who, who, who? Okay. Harbin, Harbin, where do you live? I live in Tamanique City. All right. Let's see. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Wilson, what do you do at your job? I'm studying English. In your job? What do you do at your job? Activities. Mm, activities that you do in your job. In my time free? In your work. For example, ah, I send emails or okay. I organize files. Okay. What do you do at your work? Um, I made my, 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 uh, made uh, inspections. All right, very good, very good. Okay, let's see. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Uh, what is the next question? Douglas, who is your best friend? My best friend is um. Henry. All right, very good. Elizabeth, why do you study English? Because I go out to the travel in the next vacation in USA. Good job. And Lily, when is your birthday? Hola. When is your birthday? My birthday is July 7th. July? July 7th. Very good. Excellent. Do I have birthday here for December, everybody? No? Yes. Who? Elizabeth, you? When is your birthday? My birthday is on December 21. Oh my gosh, very good. So congratulations. 
So everybody, ya saben a dónde, a dónde pueden ir a conseguir pasteles el diciembre 21, right? <laughs> In nice. The <laughs> <laughs> nice. Anybody else? Alguien más? Hi. Oh, Jesus, when is your birthday? December uh, 23. <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay, okay. So guys, no, pero si es que tenemos ya party reservada primero el 21 después el 23 all right anyone else in december extra points para los de diciembre right <laughs> okay practice the questions estas mismas questions se las voy a preguntar así que vamos a seguirlas repasando so please always try to remember the structure yes I have a question. Go ahead. Can you repeat me when is the end in this course? The end of this course? Yes. Okay, everybody, this course is going to finish, um, let's see, exactly in two weeks. Let's see, let me check the calendar. Basically, the 16th. The 16th. So basically, next Friday, it will be the last day. Okay? Uh, I can listen. Can you repeat me, please? Oh, next Friday, basically. Mm -hmm. El próximo viernes, it will be like ending this level. All right. And we have vacations. <laughs> ya están pensando en las vacations. Oh my goodness. Um, no, lo que pasa, lo que pasa es que eh, parece que eh, había dicho que era día 20 o 21 que vamos a terminar. Que... Ok, let me see. Let me see. Porque es que yo tengo una fecha acá. But let me confirm. Voy a confirmar. Porque la fecha que yo tengo acá es el 16. Pero les voy a confirmar mañana. ¿Les parece? Para no darles una fecha equivocada. ¿Ok? Sí, teacher, porque bueno, al menos voy a hablar por mí. ¿va? Ajá. Porque si es 21, el día que termina, desde ya le pido permiso que no. Va a ir a mi cumpleaños. <ríe> ah, ok. Hey, but I want cake too. Yo creo que todos queremos pastel, please. <ríe> es que voy a hacer una fiesta y los voy a invitar a todos. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Um, the t-shirt también. I hope so, I hope so. No, listen, uh, en mi programación yo tengo que terminar el 16, right? Que estaría básicamente siendo el próximo viernes. Eh, eso tengo yo en la programación. Pero para mayor seguridad, pues voy a volver a confirmar y así podemos estar totalmente seguros. Porque básicamente no hemos perdido ningún día, right? No hemos cancelado clases ningún día, entonces básicamente no habría el por qué correr la fecha de finalización. Así que, basically, si todo sale bien, estaríamos terminando el 16, que sería el próximo viernes. Teacher, right? ¿cuándo regresamos? Eso sí, no sé. I'm sorry. Eso sí, no enero. sabría. Es enero. Mm. Honestly, I'm not sure. I guess. I mean, lo más, el cuatro. lo más probable es que sería basically in January, porque no creo que estén como bien cortados por la vacation de diciembre, right? Um, pero es de ver porque también hay que analizar la continuidad del grupo. Um, así, rapidito, porque no quiero tomarme mucho tiempo. Estuve hablando con respecto a lo que pasaría si seguimos así como que perdiendo gente. Si se fijan, algunos de sus classmates ya no se conectan. Hay classmates que nunca se conectaron. Entonces, eh, el grupo, si nos mantenemos con los que estamos, Yo es decir, no si, avisa por eso. <ríe> si nos mantenemos así, 
posiblemente el grupo sí se mantenga, right? Pero estamos hablando de que ya nadie se salga. Y bueno, de que si de repente hay alguien que dice yo ya no voy a seguir o or something, don't worry, para los que quieran seguir, sí se les va a buscar la manera de que puedan seguir. Tal vez no van a estar como que un solo grupo, sino que lo más probable es que se mezclen. Es decir, que a ustedes los añadan a otro grupo. Right. Imaginémonos que hay un grupo que también esté como ustedes, un poquito pequeño. Lo que pueden hacer es combinarlos. All right. Para que no dejen de estudiar, porque yo sé que hay unos que, que sí desean continuar y no queremos que, que pues lo pierdan. Ok. So, if you Teacher, want. Perdón, uh -huh. y lo, yes. los niveles, usted siempre los va a seguir dando o se va a cambiar de teacher. I'm not sure. Casi siempre uh -huh. se rotan. Right, so you can have different teachers. Así que no sabría decirles si van a seguir conmigo o si les va a tocar a alguien más. Sobre todo si los grupos se combinan. Ahí sí ya no sabría decirles. All right. So, but everything will be all right. Please, nadie se salga. Ok, la idea es que todos, imagínense bien bonitos se sienten así ustedes que ya todos se conocen, right? But, estoy viendo un gato. <ríe> ok, you see, hasta tenemos un nuevo student. All right. Very good. Ok, después de esa pausa comercial, everybody, stretch your arms, move your head, drink water if you have water, and let's continue. Now, pay attention here. Vamos a seguir viendo information questions. But now, the characteristics is that we're going to check the information questions in third person. Do you remember the third person? Who? Who is the third person? Uh, he. Ajá. Uh -huh. Uh, it. Correct. Very good. So, what happens with the third person? If it is a yes no question, ¿qué necesito? Look. Does. Simple. Remember, si es una yes no question, I need the auxiliary. All right? All right. And I will say, does he go to the beach? But if it is a double H question or information question, it's the same. First, I need the double H word, and then I always need the auxiliary. For example, ¿cómo quedaría esta question and information question? Look, we can say when. Does he go to the beach? So, what is the difference? El auxiliary. Okay. So, si es terceras personas, ¿cuál es el auxiliary? Das. 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 Okay. ¿Quiénes son las terceras personas? He, she, it. Perfect. He, she, it. He, she, it. So that is the only difference. Let's see some examples. So let's go to the manual. We are in the page 32. Vamos a ver some examples using the third person. Okay. Let's go to the manual. Look at here. Here we got some questions and the answers. For example, look at the number one. What does... ¿Quién es el sujeto en esta question? She. Very she. good. What does she do on Saturday and Sunday? Ahora, característica de la respuesta. ¿Qué va a suceder en la respuesta? She... Visit... Ah, do you see something strange or something special in the answer? Letter S. Correct. Letter S. Tenemos que agregar la letter S because is 
third person. She visits. Imagine si yo les pregunto, everybody, um, what does your mother do on Saturday? ¿Qué me dirían? What does your mother do on Saturday? She. She. Uh -huh. Cooks. Cooks. In the Okay, she cooks the lunch, for example. Lunch. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué más? What else? What does your mother do on Saturday? Anyone else? She goes to the iglesia. Okay, she goes to the church. Exactly. So, Para responder en terceras personas, le agregamos la letter S. Ok. Let's do another example. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the question number two. Uh -huh. Where? Where? Where does he go on Tuesdays? Ask her more. All right, who is the subject in this question? He. Exactly. So where does he go? And look at the answer. We always add the letter S. He goes. He goes. Exactly. He goes to the company's headquarters. Number three, volunteer for reading. Which department mm -hmm. does our Which boss supervise? Which department does our boss supervise? Who is the subject? Uh, boss. boss. Exactly, yes. the boss. And look at the answer. Our boss supervises. We always add the letter S. And the last one, volunteer for reading. What time does Miguel start to work? Very good. Who is the subject again here in this sentence? Miguel. Exactly. So always third person how can i answer miguel stars sorry stars perfect so we need to add always the letter s so everybody pay attention if you have third person remember you need the auxiliary does always and when you answer you need to add the letter s let's do another example imagine if i say let's see vamos a hacer Unas questions y ustedes me dicen si están correct or not. Imagine if I ask, where do your sister live? Is that correct? No. no. Why where not? Does, where does ah, your sister The correct auxiliary is does. Oh. And what will be the answer? Can I say, ah, she live in Santa Ana. Is that correct? No. No. So no. what is the correct one? She I lives. need letter uh -huh. S. She lives. lives. Another example. Where does 
your brother works. Is that correct? Where does your brother works? Is that correct? Yes or no? Hmm. Yes. No. Okay, some people say yes, some people say no. Why not? The auxiliary, do? Okay. Hmm. Where do your brother? All right, let's think about it. Your brother, is mm -hmm. third person, oh. yes or no? Yes. 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 So uh -huh. the auxiliary is correct. Is yes correct. or no? Yes. 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 Now pay attention in the verb. La S está de más. Oh. Ah. Sin la S work. Good. Necesito la S. Mm -mm. No. Why not? Porque ya hay auxiliar. Correct. Very good job. I don't need the letter S anymore because I have the auxiliary. And what will be the answer? Where does your brother work? What will be the answer? Uh huh. He works in the supermarket. All right. Can I say he works? Uh, at the supermarket. Is that correct? Work. Work. Good work. Job. Oh, the letter S. Works. Work. Exactly. That's Works. So don't forget the letter S. Is it clear, everyone? Yes? Yes, I do. Very good. Okay, let's continue. Let's practice the information questions in this conversation. This conversation is always in your manual, in the page, okay? So, oops, oops, oops. Let's go to the manual. We are going to practice this conversation. Uh, let's see. Let me share it. Can you see the conversation? Yes? Yes. All right. I'm going to read the conversation first. So pay attention to the pronunciation. And then you will read. Okay? So we start with Kevin. What do you have to do on Tuesday? Hmm. I just checked the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is it about? What does Mr. Reese have to do that? I'm sorry have to do that day? Mm, I'm not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? So if you see in this conversation, we have information questions in third person. So I need volunteers for reading. Who wants to read? Volunteers for reading? Only two volunteers, please. Hi. Thank you, Harbin. You will be Kevin. Who else? What do you... Okay, ¿quién dijo mi primero? Sorry, give me a name. Uh, Jesus. Okay, Jesus, you will be Albert. Okay. Go. Okay. What do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? 
Sure. What is about? What does Mr. Reese have to do that day? I'm not so sure. What time does he mm. finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free, free time? Okay, that was a part four. Yeah, read it again, <laughs> read it again, no worry. <laughs> what time does he finish to work on Thursday or when does he have free time? Very good. Okay, can... <laughs> ah, come on. Okay, can you identify information questions in third person? Information questions in third person. Kelly, what does Mr. Reese have to do that day? Correct. Another one? What time Kelly. he finished to work? Exactly. Or when, when does he have free time? Correct. So, si se fijan, estas questions are in third person. So, we have the double H word, auxiliary, does, always, because it's third person, all right? Now, let's check these conversations and write the correct answer. Imagine if I say, what, da 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 da, da Albert, have to do on Thursday. What do you think? What is the correct auxiliary? Do or does? Does. 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 So the question is, what does Albert, does Albert have, have to do? To do on Thursday. Okay. Thursday. 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 According to the conversation, what is the answer? Do you remember? Albert, what does Albert have to do on Thursday? Uh -huh. Aquí está Albert. ¿Qué tiene que hacer Albert on Thursday? He check the uh -huh. Good. So in third person, we have to say, he, can I say, he, oops, he check? Like no. this? What is the correct one? Checks. Correct. Check. He checks. Okay, third person. Number two, what is the correct answer? Why do or why does? Do. Why does? Why does Kevin, Kevin need help. help? Very good. So what is the answer? Why? Why does Kevin need help? Uh -huh. Because uh -huh. move from boxes. Correct. Mm -hmm. He needs, right? He needs to move some boxes. Okay, the number three. Who do or who does you think is going to help Kevin, what is the correct one? Who do or who does you? Who do? Are you sure? Por qué decimos do? Porque no está en tercera persona. Very good. Está Excellent. En... Yo... Si se fijan, ¿quién es el subject? I. You, right? You, ¿es terceras personas? Yes or not? No. It is not their person. That's why we say do. Who do you think? Very good. And the last one, what do or what does Mr. Reese do on Thursday? Does. That's correct. Very good. 
So everybody, please pay attention here. Lo primero que hay que hacer es identify the subject. Okay? When you identify the subject, you can use the correct auxiliary. Is it clear, everybody? Do you have any questions? Yes. Clear. As our chat. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah. Uh, una, una pregunta. Yes. Go ahead. Podemos regresar a la lámina anterior. Eh, no es pregunta, solo he observado algo. Yes, sure. Uh, It's fine. Por favor. Uh -huh. uh, 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 antes. Antes que uh, esto. This one? Eh, aquí. Uh -huh. What okay. time? What, what time does? Uh -huh. La estructura es, es la WH más el auxiliar. Uh -huh. Aquí está la palabra time antes del auxiliar. Very good. If you see, guys, Guillermo tiene un buen punto. La estructura, ustedes saben que es WH word, auxiliary, subject, and so on and so on. But here, ¿qué pasa con la palabra time? Como que la palabra time se metió. Right? Como que se metió antes del auxiliary. So, hay excepciones de algunas questions. Right? En este caso, si se fijan, basically, solo es como una cuestión de lógica. Porque en este caso, si decimos, mm, what does time? No tendría mucho sentido. Or, What does he finish to work time? Mm, no, right? So, aquí básicamente lo que estamos haciendo es copiando la estructura del español. ¿Cómo lo decimos en español? ¿A qué horas? Right? Entonces, cuando preguntamos por la hora, siempre vamos a hacerlo así. What time? Ahí rompemos un poquito lo que es la estructura. Pero son bien pocas excepciones en las que vamos a ver que en la question vamos a romper un poquito la estructura. ¿Ok? So, pequeñas preguntas. Vamos a ir más adelante viendo algunas preguntas que también se salen del lugar, pero como les digo, son bien pocas. Así que siempre, acuérdense, cuando preguntemos la hora, what time, esa siempre va a ir así, unido. All right. Clear? Yes? yes. No sé si tienen otra question. Everybody? No? Okay. So, let's do another practice. If you don't have questions, let's see. I have here some sentences and I need you to create the questions with the words that I have here. For example, why he have a meeting? ¿Cómo sería la question? ¿Qué necesito primero? What do I need first? Why? Why? The word why. Who is the subject? Ah, so I need does and then? He have, he have uh -huh. a meeting. A meeting, very uh, good. Why does he have a meeting? That's correct. Why does he have a meeting? Very good job. How about the number two? What is the question in the number two? Well, well where does? Where does? Where does she process the process in the department? Process the payments. The, uh, payment. ¿Saben mm. qué significa payments? No. Pago. Exactly. The <laughs> payments. Okay. So we will say how does she process the Payments. Number three, what do I need first? Uh -huh. what, what does? What does? 
You do. Oh, Ingrid. Ingrid, remember. Ingrid the on Wednesday. 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 Mm, and what is the verb? Ah. Do. do. What does Ingrid do? do? What does um, Ingrid do? On Wednesday. On Wednesday. Very good. So, what does Ingrid do on Wednesdays? And the last one, what do I need first? Uh -huh. What do I need first? When. When, correct. And then? Yeah. Uh -huh. Remember the structure, double H word, That's auxiliary, it. subject, verb, complement. When uh -huh. does employee? Very good. When does employee? Acquire. What is the verb? Acquire. Acquire the what? Material. The raw material. So let's see vocabulary. What is the meaning of employee? Empleado. Exactly. So what is the meaning of acquire? I know, like, adquirir. Adquirir, that's correct. And raw material, ¿qué creen que significa? Raw material. Material, pero no sé raw qué significa. Basically, sería como la materia prima, right? Mm. So, cuando van a hacer un product, necesitamos la materia prima. So, that is the meaning of raw. Raw material. So, if you see, cuando hablamos en terceras personas, just remember the structure. I need double H word. Luego, auxiliary, subject, verb, complement. Todas las oraciones están llevando la misma estructura. Is it clear? La forma en cómo podemos hacer information questions in third person? Yes, is it clear? Uh -huh. Okay, let's see if it is true. But first, I'm going to check attendance again. So everybody, if you listen to your names, say present. Um, let's see, let's see. Ana, Carmina? Present teacher. All right. Douglas Arnoldo. Present teacher. Nice. Um, Guillermo Alex. Present. All right. Harvin Vladimir. I hear. All right. Jesus Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay. Jesus Joannis. Present teacher. Great. Um, Rigoberto Padilla. Present teacher. Good. Rogelio Enrique. Follow working hard. Oh, he's working hard today. Okay. Um, Selby says me. Okay. Sonia Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay. Sonia Veronica. Present teacher. Good. Um, Wilson Ortega. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Xiomara Elizabeth. Present. Yesenia Lili. Present teacher. Okay. Veronica, la mencioné. I'm sorry. Sonia Veronica. Hi, teacher. Okay, there you are. Okay, thank you, everybody. Okay, let's do a practice. Ya vimos la estructura de las information questions in third person. So now, 
Let's see if you understood the topic. I want you to write three information questions, but in third person. Ahorita no vamos a usar you. Ahorita vamos a usar third person. You can use the double H words that you prefer. You can use what, when, where, why, who, or how. And I want you to ask about, for example, your mother, your father, your boss, or your best friend, or your sister, or your brother. I don't know. You can choose the subject that you prefer. For example, where does your father live? Or you can say something like, when does your best friend go to the gym? Cuando va tu mejor amigo al gimnasio, right? When does your best friend go to the gym? Si se fijan, la estructura is the same. Double-edged word, auxiliary, subject, verb, complement. Sigan esa misma estructura, ¿ok? So everybody tienen five minutes para escribir three information questions in third person, ¿ok? Go ahead. If you have questions, let me know and I will help you. ¿Se entiende la activity? Yes. Is it clear? Okay, if you don't have questions, go ahead. Tienen five minutes, write three information questions. Remember, in third person. Go ahead. If you have questions, just let me know, please. Remember, three information questions in third person. You have two more minutes. Yo no entiendo, la verdad. Okay, Douglas, no worries. Solo trate de seguir la estructura. Primero, elija una double H word. For example, ¿cuál quiere usar? Dígame una. Uh -huh. Usemos what. Digamos, eso está fácil. What. Ok, viene usted y escribe la palabra what. Después de la double H word, ¿qué necesito? Uh -huh. Douglas. Auxiliar. Exactly, necesito el auxiliary. Después del auxiliary necesitamos un sujeto. Um, digamos que vamos a hablar de quién. Your um, friends. Ok, your best friend. Ok. What does your best friend? ¿Qué necesito después del sujeto? El complemento, ¿no? 
Mm, antes del complemento. Al verbo. Exactly. No. A ver, ¿se acuerda de algún verbo? Cualquiera. Like, like. Ok, like. What does your best friend like? ¿Qué le gusta a tu mejor amigo? Hasta ahí podríamos dejar la question. Look. Ok. Así de simple. Ahora, ya tiene una. Hagamos una segunda question. Puede seguir usando what o puede usar otra WH word. For example, usemos why. Ok, ¿qué necesito después de why? Lo mismo. Uh -huh. Look. Auxiliary. Después del auxiliary, lo mismo, necesito un sujeto. En lugar de your best friend, ¿cuál vamos a poner ahora? Puede ser your mother, your sister, your father. Uh -huh. Ajá. ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál colocamos? Mother. Ok, your mother. Why does your mother... ¿Un verbo? Drink. 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 Perfect. Drink, ahora agreguémosle un complement. Drink what? Coffee, milk, water, beers, soda. Which one? Drink. El Shake. Cake. I'm sorry? Shake. Shake, oh, like milkshake. Oh, milk ah, okay. Milk shake. Perfect. Milkshake. ¿Por qué tu mamá toma milkshake? Ok, esa es una question. So, si se fija, de esa manera es que lo hacemos. Intente hacer una más, solo una más le falta. Usted elija double H word, auxiliary, subject, verb, complement. Así de simple. ¿Ok? Ok. Very good. Intente hacer otra. Go ahead. Ok. Anyone else? If you have questions, if you don't understand very well, Tell me. Remember, ahorita no se compliquen mucho, everyone. Simplemente tratemos de seguir the same structure. Okay? So, are you ready? The rest of you, ¿cómo van? ¿Ya tienen las tres questions? Yes? No. No yet? Ok, les voy a dar two more minutes, but no more because we don't have more time. Two more minutes. Go ahead. If you have questions, tell me. If you have doubts or if you don't understand, tell teacher, me. That, teacher, this is an information question. When your brother goes to the field? Mm, but remember... Vamos a escribirla. When, después de when, you, ¿qué necesito? Does. Exactly. When, does, sujeto. Y, your. Your. Brother. Ajá. Come to the field. Come to the field. Ok. When does your brother come to the field? Yes, that's a okay. good question. Exactly. Mm -hmm. No Thank olviden you. el auxiliary. You're welcome. So everybody, no olviden el auxiliary, please. Tampoco olviden el verbo. The verb is very important. Okay, hi uh -huh, everybody. Are you ready? Do you have your questions ready? Yes. Yes. And the rest of you, do you have the questions ready? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, the idea is to practice these questions with your classmates. So, van a ir a entrevistar a su classmates, but listen, everybody. Si su classmate no entiende las questions, try to repeat. Okay, 
And if your classmate makes a mistake, so try to help them. Ok, la idea es que se vayan ayudando entre ustedes. Ok, so we'll be in groups of three. So please everybody help each other. Zero Spanish. And listen, algunos no están entrando a los breaking rooms. So enter, enter to the breaking rooms para que puedan practicar. Ok, so tenemos... Five minutes para practicar esta activity. So let's go. The, the first question, uh, what does your mother do on Friday afternoon? What does your mother do on Friday afternoon? Mm. Me está preguntando. What ¿Qué? does your mother Tú, Friday, after. Eh, me preparar el almuerzo. Mi mamá. No. ¿Qué, ¿Qué hace ella? Lo oh. por la tarde. Otra vez. What does your mother do on Friday afternoon? Uh, le, voy a, le voy a responder yo. Okay. Le, le voy a responder yo. Okay. Uh, mm, my mother goes shopping. Okay, excellent. My mother watch TV. Okay. Uh, my mother, no sé si es Goro o goes the park. Go. Yo creo que es Go is the park Go is visit the park uh -huh. Visit the park You can okay. say Goes to the park Goes okay. to the park, to the park. Mm -hmm. okay. Goes to the park Okay, okay Okay, excellent Billy Eh, Yo le voy a preguntar a usted. Ok. Es que casi la misma pregunta había hecho yo. Um, was, does your mother do in the afternoon? My mother... Mm, is, is, mm, mi mamá ya está muerta. No sé nada. Ay, Dios mío. Perdón, perdón. Apenas. No, no, no. Vamos a descartar esa pregunta. Eso, vamos a suponer si quieres. Entonces, no sé cómo ok, es. entonces, eh, su hermana. Ah, ok. ¿Cuál do your sister? Ok. And repeat the, the, the question, please, Lily. Ok. ¿Cuál do your sister do in the afternoon? Eh. My sister cooks uh, soup. My sister watches TV. My sister. Okay. Who does your new best friend? Uh, ¿Quién es tu mejor amigo? ¿O quién es tu nuevo mejor amigo? My best friend uh, is Josué. My, my best friend is, is Jesucristo. Okay. Uh, second ask is when does your father birthday? When does when, when does, does your father birthday? Um, I don't know. Uh, sí me está preguntando la, la, el cumpleaños. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, 
Uh, uh, uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> okay. uh, where does your wife live? Where does where does your wife live? Wife. Wife is esposa. Wife life. Where 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 does you you wife, wife life? life? Is is in is is the cook dinner? No me está preguntando qué está haciendo. No, te estoy preguntando que si dónde vive tu esposa. Ah, sí, es que es live. My, my wife uh, live in El Palmar. Ok. Harvey. <laughs> my wife live for me and with me. <laughs> <laughs> Your ask question, Harvey. Mm, solo que las mías las hice así, es como abiertas, chamacos, no directamente para ustedes. Dale. What does she cook for dinner? What does? She cook. She. She cook. Dinner. For dinner. Mm -hmm. For dinner. She she cook. Que, que hace de cena. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, she does. Uh, oh, she cooks pupusas. She, she, mm -hmm. she cooks. Uh, yeah, yeah. She cooks, she cooks so, pupusas. So mora. <laughs> Second question. Dale. Why does he clean the house? Why why does? Uh -huh. He clean the house. Uh, because he likes it. <laughs> Because no hay para dónde. Because he likes oh, it. Because receive. Because mm. no no con Visit. dinero. Ah, okay. Because uh, receive. Oh, ¿Cómo es? Receive visit. Okay, time's up. Time's up. Time's up. Let's wait for your classmates. All right, interesting questions and very interesting answers. Very good, very good. Okay, how was the practice? Easy, difficult, 50-50, what do you think? Difficult. Difficult. Okay, ¿qué sintieron que fue lo más difícil? Hacer las preguntas, entender las preguntas o responder las preguntas. Quizás escribirlas. Ok. Hacer las preguntas. Hacer las preguntas. All right. ¿Y los demás? ¿Qué Hacer las más preguntas difícil? y ah. entenderlas. Eso es lo más complicado. Ah, okay. Prácticamente todo. I, I think so that the classmates need to repeat and open your mouth when they they talking or speaking okay. and speak aloud so because good. this is the 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 idea practice and if we can open the mouth that's a good idea and we have and we have a a good pronunciation that's don't correct. afraid exactly don't afraid. exactly Guys. i believe in the Yes, so do I. Listen, lo están haciendo bien. Estoy escuchando muy buenas preguntas. Yo sé que siempre hay pequeños detalles que tenemos que cuidar. Yo sé que a veces nos cuesta entender qué es lo que está preguntando el classmate, pero ahí vamos, lo vamos intentando, estamos practicando y así poquito a poco es como vamos a ir aprendiendo.
right? ¿Es difícil? Yes, yo sé que a algunos les cuesta más que otros, yo sé que algunos tienen ya una pequeña base de English, pero algunos vinieron desde cero, pero ahí vamos, tratando de ayudarnos todos juntos. Now, así rapidito, because we don't have more time, just be careful con algunos details. For example, who does is your best friend? Si se fijan en esta pregunta, ¿tengo el verbo to be? Sí o no. Yes. Yes. ¿Y qué sucede? ¿Recuerdan la regla? Cuando yo tengo el verbo to be, ¿necesito el auxiliary? Sí o no. No. No, right? Eso es algo que tienen que tener en mente. El auxiliar es solamente cuando usamos cualquier verbo, pero no el verbo to be. Lo mismo sucede en la siguiente pregunta. When does your father birthday? Aquí necesito este. When is. Y es el mismo ejemplo. ¿Tengo el verbo to be en esta oración? Yes. ¿Necesito el auxiliary? No. No. Entonces solo vamos a decir, when is your father birthday? Again, vamos a usar el auxiliary solo cuando tengamos otro verbo, pero oh. que no sea el verbo to be. Ahora, pronunciation. What is the pronunciation of this word? Live. 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 Por ahí escucho que a veces me dicen live. No, is Leave. Look at this answer. Because he like it. Hmm, is that correct? Because he like. No. No. What is the correct one? Uh, because like. he likes. It. Exactly. Like. Don't forget to like. add the letter S. Because like. he likes it. Like. Okay. Like. So, no se me frustren. Remember, vamos a seguir practicando. Es martes, so relax. Todavía tenemos esta semana para seguir practicando este topic, ¿ok? So, just relax. Si sienten que es difícil, I mean, yo sé y los entiendo. Tratemos de repasar nuestros apuntes. Si tienen un ratito libre, pónganse a ver la grabación de la clase. No les digo que vean las dos horas, solo los pequeños minutos donde hicimos la explicación para que puedan seguir practicando. Revisen el manual, hagan el ejercicio nuevamente y así van a poder ir practicando. ¿Ok? Now, ya no tenemos tiempo, everybody, unfortunately. The winner, que se queda Bye, el día de hoy. <laughs> Sonia Elizabeth. <laughs> Sonia Elizabeth se queda, los demás. Good night, everyone, and see you tomorrow. Good night. Happy good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, good night. <laughs> good night, everybody. See you tomorrow. All right, good night, good night. Solo Sonia se queda, please. Okay, hello Sonia, how are you? Hi, teacher, I'm you? I'm great, thanks for asking. Well, esta sección es simplemente para aclarar dudas. Right. Si hay alguna duda sobre la clase, sobre el programa, a veces no tenemos tiempo para contestar todas las preguntas individuales que puedan surgir, así que este es su momento. Ok. Ajá. Pues más que duda, me, me gusta la clase, eh, cómo se llama el dinamismo que usted le, le pone. Bueno, de hecho hasta mi esposo me dice que dinámico, creo que eso lo motiva a uno, aunque esté cansado, ¿verdad? Eh, con relación a los topics, quizás lo más complicado es la gramática. En mi caso, la pronunciación me cuesta. Y como se llama, pero creo que la pronunciación va en la constancia de repetir, repetir, repetir hasta lograr la, la correcta pronunciación. Correct. Quizás la estructura, aprender a estructurar en nuestra mente cuando, en qué locación va cada uno de, de los elementos de la oración, ¿verdad? Ah, no. Y sí, realmente, y eso es algo que nos pasa a todos. La gramática es algo difícil, yo sé, pero remember, ¿cuánto tiempo llevamos aquí? <ríe> Podemos dos contar semanas. los días, básicamente, exactly, imagine 12 días, right? 
12 días. Entonces, absorber todo el conocimiento, perfeccionarlo en 12 días es difícil. Y es lo que les mencionaba, no sé si ayer o, o la semana pasada, a veces hay estructuras que las vamos a venir comprendiendo o quizás no comprendiendo, sino más bien dominando en niveles más adelante. All right. El hecho de que terminemos el nivel 1 no significa que, ok, todo lo que vimos en el nivel 1 ya nunca lo vamos a volver a estudiar, así que si no se lo aprendieron, ni modo. No, relax. Vamos a llegar al nivel 2 y en el nivel 2 vamos a ver temas nuevos combinándolos con los temas que ya repasamos para que no se nos olviden. Believe me, y, y es lo que les decía, hay personas que han llegado al nivel de intermedio y hasta en el nivel intermedio dijeron, hey, ahora sí, ya domino el simple present. Y no es mentira y así sucede. Pero como usted misma lo dice, es con la constancia que vamos a ir perfeccionándolo. Con la pronunciation, yo les recomiendo escuchar música en inglés y cántelas, porque um, cuando escuchamos las canciones, vamos escuchando cómo lo van pronunciando y vamos tratando de imitarlo. La pronunciación en inglés es bien de memoria. Cuando nosotros vemos una palabra, por ejemplo, la palabra trabajo, job, para nosotros en español suena a job, porque así sabemos que se pronuncia la J. Entonces, cuando ya nos aprendimos de memoria que se pronuncia job, ya no se nos olvida. Entonces, la pronunciation es bien de memoria. Por eso, escuche música en inglés y cante. Ahí se va a ir aprendiendo palabras, ahí va a ir aprendiendo a cómo se pronuncian, ahí va a ir soltando la lengua. Así que, I recommend it. ¿Ok? Do it. Excelente eh, recomendación, dicho. Muchas gracias. Yes, y trate de escuchar canciones, amén. I no escuchar rap, porque eso es como que súper difícil, right? Tratemos sí. de escuchar canciones o artistas cuyo inglés no sea tan complicado, right? Ok, excelente. Good. No sé, ¿otra pregunta? ¿O quejas? Mm -hmm. Bueno, quejas y reclamos, no. No, solo la duda, creo que le pregunté si usted el siguiente nivel usted lo va, iba a seguir dando o, por ejemplo, va a haber otra teacher, no sé. Sí, ahí sí no sabría decirle porque, como le digo, normalmente eh, no somos nosotros los que decidimos los grupos, solo se nos asignan. Y casi okay. siempre se asignan casi que un día antes de que el curso empiece, entonces ajá, es bien difícil eh, saber si sí o no, okay. así que ya, yeah, I'm sorry eso sí no se lo podría confirmar excelente yeah. no, y todo me parece súper bien bastante okay. aceptable bastante aceptable creo que más que el, el inglés es más autodidacta, ¿verdad? para nosotros exactly. sí, con la plataforma, menos... ¿cómo vamos? Pues ya hice las actividades, yo por lo menos trato después, normalmente eh, espero ver lo, los topics y después hacerlo, pues se me resulta más fácil. ¿no? Entonces ya, si no, es, menos, es como una práctica y Exacto. trato de lo que me, me cuesta un poquito, pues reforzarlo, ir a leer, buscar algo, eso le en lo personal, Exacto. lo que trato de hacer. And actually, esa es la idea, right? Que la plataforma le sirva a ustedes para una extra practice. Uh -huh. Exacto. Sí, y me parece la plataforma bastante, las actividades no son muy complejas, bastante uh -huh. sencillas, como lo dice práctica, ¿verdad? No, y están pues, totalmente relacionadas uh -huh. a los temas que vemos en la clase. Entonces, uh -huh. si pusieron atención en la clase, van a sentir fácil los ejercicios de la plataforma. Uh -huh. Correcto. Así exactly. es. Exacto. Ok. Eh, ¿Another questions? No. Okay. Nada más. Todo <ríe> Muchas Very gracias good. por la right. dedicación de tiempo y la paciencia. Ya, <laughs> yeah. eso es algo que se desarrolla también, no worries. Sí. Okay. Gracias, teacher. My pleasure. Okay, good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Take care. Bye.